Welcome back to my channel and to my first video of 2024. Every January, I'm invigorated by the idea of New Year's resolutions and setting goals, of self-improvement and the bright optimism of a fresh year. Some of my resolutions this year include trying new things even if I'll be bad at it, building discipline and consistency into my daily routine, of course, I also have my typical resolutions, such as going on my phone less, exercising consistently, and reading more, but those feel less like new year resolutions and more like every year resolutions. I think this catnip in here is supposed to be. I see. Might be too big for her, actually. She doesn't really like big toys. Since my parents moved to LA, I haven't really explored the area too much whenever I visit, so on Sunday afternoon, my mom and I went to Hermosa Beach. We strolled down to the end of the pier, bracing ourselves against the strong wind and marveling at the waves and the one or two surfers. We walked along the Strand, a 22 mile pathway that runs from Santa Monica down to Torrance Beach. The strand was so lively that if it wasn't for the strong, cold wind, I would have believed I was in a serene summer scene. The sky put on a spectacular show, and we watched the sun sink into the ocean before heading back home. The next day, I decided to go to the South Coast Botanic Garden. It is located in Palos Verdes and has more than 2,000 different plants over 87 acres. This is so amazing. There's not too many people here. I mean, it is a Monday afternoon. It's so peaceful and quiet and I'm just like reveling in the quietness. You know, sound of like the freeway or traffic. It's just so peaceful. Even though I don't know much about plants or gardening, I appreciate the beauty. I always get a feeling of magical whimsy whenever I am in a garden. I feel it in the classic design of the romantic rose garden, see it in the vibrantly colored flowers, and smell it in the fragrant scents wafting through the herb garden. The only downside was that it was winter, so just as I expected, not many plants were in bloom, but I'm definitely going to come back here in the spring or summer so I can see this garden at its peak beauty. That night, we went out for dinner, and all I'm going to say is that the food was an unquestionable 10 out of 10. Every so often, I start to feel cooped up inside with nothing to do. And then I realize that no one's making me stay inside but me because I am my own worst enemy. I can become such a couch potato if I don't intentionally make myself go outside. So I decided to go back to Hermosa Beach. It was a very windy afternoon, so there weren't many people out on the sand, but this seagull kept me company for a while. It just stood there and watched me read Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour library. Book. I quickly got drawn into the mystery surrounding the strange books of the library and the even stranger characters. After a while, I switched gears and pulled out my journal, which was the main reason why I came out here. I find that it's easier for me to reflect more deeply when I'm in nature, and I wanted to do a lot of reflecting on 2023 as well as my goals for this year. I shared some at the beginning of this video, but I wanted to share my take on the ins and outs trend that's been going around social media. My ins for this year include stepping up my at-home coffee game, starting cooking earlier so that I can actually finish and eat on time, going to bed at a reasonable time, going for a walk every day when possible, faking it till I make it, and diversifying the genres that I read. 
Some of my outs for 2024 are scrolling on my phone before I sleep and also scrolling on my phone after I wake up, staying inside all day, imposter syndrome, and being late to things. I had a lot of thoughts to put to paper, but I had to stop because the cold crept into my hands and my writing slowed down to a snail's pace and my handwriting devolved into chicken scratch. Finished it in about seven and a half hours. first weekend, after my husband and I came back to Colorado, we had a friend come visit us and we spent the weekend snowboarding. It was my first time and I was pretty nervous, but our friends were so patient in teaching me, but not without quite a few faults. I've already been warned many times that the first snowboarding session is always the most painful, but nothing could have prepared me for how sore I was the next day. We meant to leave before the crack of dawn, but thanks to my lateness, we got stuck in the worst of the morning traffic heading into the mountain. We were going so slowly that I was able to start reading Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez without getting carsick. Just finished this book it is 6 30. i started it yesterday on the way to um winter park about maybe like an hour and a half total in the car hi vlog i just came back from the library to pick up a few books they're mostly non-fiction like look at me reading non-fiction instead of like romance books anyways um i'm just so excited because like i miss learning like obviously like i learn on the job and i'm learning life skills like i'm learning adulting stuff as i go along through life um, but I just want to be proactive in my learning and like just I really really miss like systematic learning which is like going through a book like chapter by chapter and like having the plan laid out for you versus like yeah I can go on the internet and like I can learn anything I want on the internet but it's kind of hard for me because I'm just so overwhelmed with all of the information online and there's like no order so I want to learn Chinese so I got this book it's a thick book so thick this will be fun. This will be very fun. And then I also saw this book too, which is even more fun. And it'll be good to just brush up on my basic understanding of econ, um, just to like understand how the world works and all that. I know it's not summer right now. It's like dead of winter, but I'm kind of in the summer mood. This is just um, a for fun book. It's a murder mystery, but I don't think it's like a gory, dark, scary murder mystery. It's like fun, lighthearted. You can tell by the cover. This is the first time I'm watching the B movie in its entirety. Like I've seen so many YouTube videos like the B movie, but every time they say the word B, it like speeds up. I've seen those like meme formats, but never the movie in its entirety. And I actually do not remember this part at all. So this is gonna be very fun. So that was my January. I feel like I've set some pretty good goals and intentions to guide myself throughout the year ahead. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.